Hey guys, Halloween's coming up and I'm going to carve my own pumpkin. What do you think? I even got my own pumpkin carving kit. Wait, what if my pumpkin doesn't last the whole Halloween? What if it rots? <gasps> Mr. Jack-o-lantern, do you know how to make a pumpkin last an entire Halloween? I'm afraid I do not know. No? Wait, I know just the person. I'm gonna call Peck, maybe they know. <gasps> hey Peck, are you there? just woke up from my nap. What's up, Ryan? So, I want to make my own jack-o'-lantern, but what if it rots? Oh gosh, I'm not sure. But, this sounds like a good experiment to see how we can stop the pumpkin from rotting. You wait here, Ryan. I'll be back with the results. Okay. Welcome to Ryan's world. Oh no, don't go in there. Enter if you dare. <gasps> oh, it's just my phone. Hello, Peck? Hey Bree, I need you to bring pumpkins back to the lab. Thank you, bye. Oh, awesome. I get to go pick pumpkins, but oh, this is never gonna do. I need some proper pumpkin picking attire. <laughs> Welcome to Combo's Haunted. Uh, um, yay. Yeah. Ahem. Uh, totally normal pumpkin ranch. <laughs> hey, look, a customer. Oh no, it's a scary witch. <laughs> <laughs> Combo, it's me. Phew. Wanna buy some pumpkins? Uh, well, see, the thing is. I kind of need them all, and I don't really have any money. What? No money? But it's for science. Oh, why didn't you say so? And hey, look! You can use this, uh, totally not haunted red wagon. Huh? Wa wagon? Oh, Ta-da! Uh, enjoy! Woo! Well, it does be carrying everything. Oh, this is a nice one. Let's just get this last one. Uh, maybe not that one. Uh, I think we have enough. <laughs> Let's get to the lab. Uh, all right, Peck, I got all the pumpkins. Peck? Sweet pumpkins. Now I need you to carve them up, all spooky-like for me. <laughs> I still have more research to do. See ya. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> that means we get to make a mess. <laughs> the first step is to cut a hole in our top. tray for. Ew. Now that our top is nice and clean, the next step is to scoop out all of our guts. <sighs> Carving pumpkins can be a lot of work, so make sure to ask for the help of an adult. Ah! <sighs> well, we got our pumpkin all nice and cleaned out, but the most important part about a jack-o'-lantern is the face. And now he has a face. <laughs> uh, maybe we should cut the face out. Please ask an adult for help when cutting your pumpkin. The final step is to pop out our face. A finished jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Ooh, you finished all the jack-o'-lanterns? Uh, actually, I just finished with my first one. We have several more to carve. 
While you do that, I will explain how preservatives work. Oh, okay. Bye. You are a good jack-o'-lantern, huh? <laughs> All right, let's put you over here and oh, number two. Yeah. <laughs> we have all of our pumpkins carved out. We're gonna grab this guy and do absolutely nothing with him because he's our control, which means he's just gonna sit in the corner and be a good pumpkin. Now we're gonna add our first preservative. So our first mixture is using bleach and water. Now we are gonna use this paintbrush and we're gonna paint all around on the inside of our pumpkin at our first attempt to preserve it. So let's get started. It's science time. The two things that affect the jack-o'-lantern are mold and dehydration. Dehydration is easy. It's when water leaves the pumpkin and shrivels it up dry. Mold is more complicated. Mold floats all around us as tiny fungus spores. It looks for a warm and moist place to call home, like a carved pumpkin. It attaches itself to the pumpkin in order to feed off the pumpkin's nutrients. This causes the mold to grow and the pumpkin to decay. Methods of preserving the pumpkin. Bleach and water. Bleach is an oxidizer that attacks microorganisms including mold vinegar and lemon juice. They are strong acids that can disrupt mold growth. White glue has the power to seal moisture away, preventing dehydration. Hairspray can create a moisture barrier. So we just finished putting all of our preservatives in our pumpkins. So we have our bleach and water, our lemon juice and vinegar, our school glue, and hairspray. Hmm. So, uh, what's next, Peck? Now we get to wait for a whole week for the pumpkins to rot. Yeah, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Ah, spooky pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Wow-wee, look what happened to the pumpkin. All right, let's take a look. Only adults should handle mold using the proper equipment and safety procedures. Please ask an adult for assistance. First up is our control pumpkin. Now, surprisingly, he looks pretty good. He's still nice and firm on the outside, and there's not that much mold on the inside. Now, he did lose his little topper here. Let's see if we can get it out. And that is pretty moldy, which is gross, but overall, he held up really well. So next we have the pumpkin with the bleach in the water. And this guy is pretty mushy. It's really gross. Um, he also has a lot of stuff growing inside of him. He is fuzzy wuzzy. And even though the top didn't actually fall down, it's still mushy. <sighs> I don't think this one did very well. So this guy was the lemon juice and vinegar. And this is by far the worst pumpkin. He is mushy and soggy and smelly. And look at all of that growing on the inside. Now this is what you use if you really want a scary pumpkin for Halloween. Uh, I may have spoke too soon. Look at this guy. I don't even know if I can pick him up in one piece. Oh. He's so fall apart. <gasps> okay, so this was the school glue and this did terrible. Now the school glue is supposed to create a barrier and trap in the moisture, but I think all of that moisture just rotted straight through the pumpkin. So maybe we should have dried it out really good first and then put the school glue in because, I mean, he doesn't even have a face anymore. He's completely smushed. Mm. Finally, we have our hairspray, which is really surprising because he's still pretty firm and he really doesn't have that much stuff growing inside of him, not compared to all the other ones. The bleach seemed ineffective due to the air drying it out. The vinegar and lemon juice added too much moisture to the pumpkin. The glue may have accidentally sealed in mold already on the pumpkin, <laughs> and 
hairspray seems to work because it already has many preservative ingredients inside and was easy to apply. Looks like hairspray and the control did the best. I know, I'm so surprised that hairspray worked the best. Well, Ryan, Bree has a lot of cleaning to do. See you later. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I guess I'll go get the trash can. Hey, Mr. Spider, do you think Peck is taking too long? Yeah, same. I can't wait to carve my pumpkin. Ryan, I have returned. Oh, hey, Peck, are you done? The experiment took a while, but you will never guess which one did the best. What is it? Hairspray. What? Yeah, hairspray helped preserve the pumpkin the longest. Hairspray, huh? Never would have guessed that. Well, I'm gonna go to carving my pumpkin. Wait a minute. It's plastic, it's not a real pumpkin. Look, it's already carved. <laughs> Mommy, can you give me a real pumpkin? I wanna carve a pumpkin for Halloween, but this one is fake. Yeah, Ryan, you ready to go to the store with me to get a real pumpkin? Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna get ready to go to the store to get a real pumpkin so I can carve it for Halloween. Bye, everyone. Stay up and rise up. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>